Giotta, Kalupa, Tenakotu Katoa. Here we go, the start of the game. The referees tonight, Robin Milligan and John Burton, who's about ready to drop the ball. The Ryder Basketball League Finals, 1990. Who is the champion going to be this year? Canterbury defending champs. Nelson, the new boys on the block. First time here, Marshall wants to say something. Tenakwe Bob, well, Enjoy it while you can, Bob. Here, here comes Canterbury. They may even score. Eddie Anderson out front. Very well-disciplined team. They had too much discipline in the end last night for Thomas to North, who for two years in a row have lost to Canterbury in the semifinals. Nelson defense is very good. Now, there's a key player, as I said before, while they're being introduced. He's called Dr. Sand, number four. He, no, that's not a nickname. In fact, we are running a national contest for a nickname for D-Man Brucinic. And there's a shot from Simpson. It's off. Okay, the first prize in that contest is a year's con contract to Coach Offer. Second prize is a three-year contract. <laughs> Inside, John Hill spins, puts it up, and the first foul is going to be tagged against Rick Costley, the sixth-way United player. Bartley arguing. Not speaking the same language with the referee. Now watch inside. John Hill gets the ball, puts it to the floor, spins, puts it up. No, I think it was tagged against Bartley. We'll check it. The second of two. Simpson being marked by Eddie Anderson. Anderson, a real thief. Simpson, very clever with the ball. Inside it goes. Great Kenny Stone straight to the hoop, puts it up. It's in. Good shot of coach Matt Rusko. Surprising to see Glenn Denham starting. He didn't practice with the team earlier today. Actually, now that's the sort of information that the media is usually held from. There's a few guys out there. Oh, great move, and I think it went down. He has, I think, a flat rib, which no one is talking about. So there's lots of guys out there who are playing in pain, but it's been a five-month season. Puts it against the glass and it goes down. Well, Bob, you wouldn't know much about that in Canterbury, but that's called offense. Well, we'll see. Perkins took it out of you, pass. Softly, softly, put it on the ring and drop through. We've got a five to four ball game. Canterbury by one. Look at Eddie Anderson going against Simpson out front. Good matchup. Stone comes high inside. It goes to Costley. He took steps. Marshall saw. Good to see. Eyes open. He's alert. Canterbury five. Nelson Giants four. Two teams from T.Y. Punavu. And the little magic man, Eddie Anderson. He's really the guy who holds the key to this game for the red machine. He just has done it all this year. If he was all here all year, I don't know which team would have ended up top. As it was, Nelson were at the top of the league in Canterbury second. Lattimore throws an air ball. Vucinic was right in his face. Vucinic, incredibly enough, blocked two of Tony Brown's three-point attempt last night. Finally goes in. Whoa. Pretty slick. Oh, oh. Mr. Dini into the paint, puts it off the glass. It's there. Vucinic, the key player for Nelson, scores his first two, and we've got a five to six ball game. The Giants by two. Two well-coached teams. Rookie coach Matt Rusko going against perhaps the new Rangatira of New Zealand basketball coaches, Keith Mayer outside. Oh! Get him, likes it up. Two. One, two, three points. Kings High School's finest puts in a three. How's that for spending the whole day with someone stroking your groin? Partly from the corner. It's there. Dale Barton's come to play. Denham into the paint. Has the ball blocked. John Hill loses it. Kenny Stone comes up with it. Simpson, foot race. Takes it in against Kirkman. Oh, that happened. But Dale Barton out of sight over the top. Simpson knows no way to charge. Barton follows it in. Nelson has 50 ways to beat you. There's one party in town tonight. It's at the ASB Stadium. It's called the Reinick Basketball Finals. Ralph Lattimore high, guarded by Bucinich. He's going to have a long night. 
Tanner, oh, oh. Tanner's John Burton makes that, a call. That is so close, that call. I certainly hope we don't get calls like that all night. Look at that tap in from Bartley. Was that man elevating or what? Costly. Oh, out of sight. A little alley oop. Beauty. Nelson practices more than any team in the league. They play five times a week at lunchtime just for fun. Williams with the Guardians took it off Stone. Ball was like a hot potato there. Perkins put it up. Didn't score. Stones couldn't handle it. Ended up in Perkins' hands. He put it down. We got a 10-12 ball game. Nelson by two. Simpson down the lane, bailed out into the side. Costly comes from underneath the basket. <laughs> and may have made one of the shots of the year. Did you see that? It was a beauty. Keep your eye glued to that too. There's going to be some fantastic basketball tonight. Lattimore has the ball knocked away by Kenny Stone. High fives all around. Live wired Kenny Stone. Watch this. Lattimore. Confident goes up and Stones come from Don't way Stone outside. Stripped that ball like he'd been working on the Cuba ball for eight years. Who said it with the ball over halfway? Leads a fast break. Nelson happy to run. Oh, little Eddie Anderson. They'll make a nice conservative layup. That's the best thing I like about Eddie. He gives you two points. Check your hip pocket. We're going to add somebody else who's got your wallet. Here comes Perkins. Gets it off to Anderson. Anderson straight to the hoop. He's fouled outside. Long before the shot is going to be taken from the side. Ten. Number 10. Paul Cutball. Simpson. Here's one of the keys in the game, Marshall. Simpson. Chris Simpson. Watch this. Reaches in here. Anderson goes around. Too much speed. Now, Simpson cannot afford to get too many fouls on him early on. That's his first. He's got a real handful here on Eddie Anderson. Can he stay with him? Well, then out. again, uh, Eddie Anderson's Blue. got a real that basically they can outrun the other. Now, with Anderson out there and Simpson, they've got a couple of really fast guards, but it's do you play the running game against the other team? But they're intelligent running teams, Marshall. If the fast break is not on, they won't take it. They'll work it inside like Canterbury just did it there. Denham scores the two points. Nelson is certainly capable of doing the same. If there's a break on, both teams will take it. Ball goes off Kenny Stone. Nope. But Denham, it's be a Denham Nelson ball. is playing a blind one. Okay, he just knocked that ball away. He just scored up the other. And we were told, actually, that he wasn't going to play today. Now, look at that. Bartley was giving him a bit of cheek. Lenham. Uh, we, want a, we want a good guy. Play it right. Okay. Okay, now, as we know, Glenn does not take a prisoner. It is not part of his makeup. What he's doing on the court is amazing. The way he's playing is even more so. Both teams early on here at Man-to-Man -Man defense. Stone closely guarded by Denham. You wouldn't think Denham had a groin injury. Outside, Lucinic doesn't drop, and Mark Graham knocks it back to Barton, who puts it down. I think Russ Lowe is right. They just need to run their offense. No need to panic. We don't have to have run and gun. Neither team is an out of control team. Oh, Nelson more emotional, perhaps. Well, because each team has a coach, all right? I mean, their players love to run and gun. So there's Lattimore. Well, that's nice to hear you say it, Marshall. A three-pointer win. It was a Canterbury three, and Marshall called it. Good on you, Lance. I, I, I love the game of basketball. I have to be a Nelson fan. for a man in pain. Look at this. He just runs over tall. Oh, no. That would hurt if nothing was the matter with him. During the regular season, Nelson beat Canterbury twice, two times, both by one point. Now, Canterbury want revenge. They're seeking Utu tonight. Ball goes in. Perkins, one bounce, jumps, tries to find Anderson. Who's in it? Dr. D, Mr. D. Here's Bartley, stutter step. Nice. Side, stone, off Soft, soft, 
stoned as many as Bob Shea that say he's the best in the league. He's a fella you don't see. He ghosts around the court, but he's the guy when it's clutch time that you give the ball to, and he's also excellent on the D. Now, they've got him on denim, which shows the sort of respect that this team has for Glenn. Anderson, two bounces, puts it up, it doesn't drop. Great shooting night last night, misses one here. Denham closely marked by Stone, three-pointer for Vladimir. Doesn't drop, Bartley, off to Simpson. Three on two, in the middle, might have taken a step, wasn't called. There is Mr. D, missing away. A 17-17 ball game. Crowd, a packed crowd at ASP Stadium, they love it. Denham outside, looking inside, Gilbert Gordon, a spot player, five, six minutes ahead. Perkins comes high, puts it up, doesn't drop. Now on Gordon, at the big, over the top. And on that bound. Now watch this, shot goes up. Gordon, straight in, up the hip. <laughs> well, <laughs> Gilbo's Gordon. Looks like he was boxed out on the dole cue. His elbows are licensed, lethal weapons they are. Bartley, good fake, baseline, oh. underneath, passes it out, Stolen. Anderson. Stolen, love this little guy, down he comes, what will he do, the little magician, feeds off to Lattimore, Lattimore puts it up, and Bartley with the rebound, here they come back up the other end, no, they'll slow it down. Oh, Nelson, such an emotional team, they're happy campers, man. Well, no, no, I think that's the strength of the team, is that they're not, they're furious, they're furious with, with the media, there's a fun now, Mark. Marshall, they are close. They are tight, as you say. Oh, yeah. Lucinich at the top. Stones out on the perimeter. Canterbury parking inside. It looks like a fortified pond under there. Oh, that was a good shot. That was a good shot. Got the ball, and as he caught it, he spun. And that was not soft off the glass. That was like the banging the number eight ball in the corner pocket, but it went down. There's Ian Webb, who probably still has a fever. Webb. 19-18, could tie it here. He does, scores mine. We've got 10-37 left in the first half. Here comes Simpson against the pickpocket. Eddie Anderson. Man-to-man -man defense, both teams. Perkins going against Bartley. What a couple of Oh, what a pass. Oh, hard block. Great play. Great slanting play by, by Stone. Oh, look at Gilbert, you beauty. Gilbert Gordon. Oh, what a great shot. Canterbury varsity player many years ago. Wasted his time up with the Saints, and now he's back in the mainland. <laughs> well, Gilbert. Scores at Canterbury, in with 21-19 lead. Who's in it? Three-pointer, that's there! Lock the D! What's the Yugoslavian oh. equivalent of gold, Bob? Oh, what a great drive by Webb! Charge, but he should count it! He should count the basket! Oh, hard rock! We'll have to see it on the replay. I thought that basket should have gone down, and here he comes. He shoots it, then he hits the player. So you count the basket, ref. Well, there we are. Nelson, 22, Canterbury, 21. And the game continues. One play does not a game make. Lucinich to the baseline, puts it up. Doesn't drop. Mark Graham, big rebound. Stones underneath. He's got it. He decided not to use the board. It seems a bit stiff, so he just calmly reached up and put it in. Oh, look at that. How can Denham do that? And there's two points for Ian Webb. This is out of sight. Look, North Island teams, if you want to improve, take a video of this game. Awesome. Offensive rebounding power. I the just got the seat. fingers from Bob Sell. A little wave. Doesn't go down. Defensive rebound goes to Glenn Denham. Anderson brings it over halfway. Nelson, man to man. Simpson guarding the pickpocket. Inside, Perkins moves, spins, puts it up. Air ball. Anderson takes the ball right out of hey, Stone's I, hand. I don't mean to disparage, but at the moment, Perkins couldn't throw it through a hula hoop. That's a bit hard. Bartley brings it down. Simpson up quickly. Ball stolen by Graham Timms, who's just 
extended the game for Canterbury. Anderson straight to the hoop. Oh, did you see the way he put his body in? Did you see the way he threw his body at percentage? That, that is a bum march. On the cop. That's what all the crims say they got. Look at that. 